Hello world, I'm Uncle Carp, and welcome to Shadows of Forbidden Gods, the strategy game where we play as a Dark God Rising, and this time we are going to be playing as the Broken Maker, the creator of all flesh itself incomplete, a broken deity, driven nevertheless to create and sculpt. It crafts bloodlines and civilizations, always working, always perfecting. Its tools are terrifying and nightmarish. It will kill millions to fix one tiny perceived flaw. It will doom an entire world for the chance to bring about a new one. Always it pursues some unknowable alien goal, sculpting humanity in some twisted image with Apocalypse as its chisel. So yeah, this god revolves around cycles of destruction and rebirth. So basically this is a god where you play a game and then you play another game and another game and another game and you what you did in the previous game affects the next game. So maybe the first game isn't going to be that interesting. Uh, and I've, I've never played with this god at all. So let's actually look at the details and mechanics here. So yeah, revolves around cursing bloodlines and setting up for the next cycle. Uh, unique curse can be powered up by accomplishing tasks and then consumed in later cycles to gain powerful agents, while family blessings give you many powerful allies in certain nations. Unique agents will be available in the cycle after they are used, forcing you to various strategies until they return. Will be unavailable. Ra Ooh, that's actually very interesting. Ooh, each time you sleep, you will borrow powers from randomly chosen other gods. Okay, so yeah, I've never played with this particular god before, so let's uh, see what it does like. So yeah, let's uh, get ourselves a random world. We're gonna play with a world size 50 times 50. Let's look at the advanced options. Turn limit, orc, deep ones, elves, yes, humanity is vigilant. Uh, Michelin's events, end of turn movement events. Uh, don't really care about the map generation things here. We got holy orders, we got limited options for holy orders. One witch's coven. We got Conclaves, we got Magical Armories, we got Military Escorts, we got Chosen One Respawning, God Sets Minimum. Yep, for the board Panic, yes, that's good. Okay, so let's uh, get going and see what the Broken Maker is all about. Okay, well, we start off with a little bit of religious tension, that's never really that important, or getting opinions swayed. Yeah, yeah, we know what Shadows of Forbidden Gods is. Uh, why are you starting... <laughs> Game, why are you looking? Why, why are we looking somewhere here? Uh, where even is our starting location? Because that's where it usually starts. Do we not have the starting location? Uh, what is it called normally? The, 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 the what is it called? I honestly don't remember. Oh, uh, we don't even start with an agent. Oh, because normally everyone starts with their own specific agent. This guy doesn't have one. Okay, so we just have to pick. Okay, we can start with the harvester. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, 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 okay. So let's have a look see at our powers at the beginning. What do we have? Create agent. Uh, select a unit or ruler and turn them into an agent, building off at least one maker's curse on their house. You will gain stats and traits based on which curse are presented and how powerful they are. Must target a hero, act or location ruler where the person is at least one maker's curse. Okay, we can't do anything with that. Create agent masterfully. Uh, okay, same thing. Uh, the curse's power is hard, but not removed. Okay, not really sure what's the difference here. Okay, so the difference here is can only be used once per sleep. Curse's power is hard, but not removed. Okay, maker's curse. Curse a house with the maker's curse of the sword. When a person with this curse is killed by another, the curse increases in power. Agents created by the maker from this house gain plus one might for each level of the curse and trade which cause civil wars when the agent makes a kill. Okay. So we can curse any house to begin with, it looks like. So maybe that's what we should do, which is curse someone and then create an agent from that house. I, I think that's what we're trying to do here. Okay, make us curse I. Whenever a person with this curse is driven insane, the curse increases in power. Okay, make us curse midnight. Curse a house. Yeah, with the maker's curse midnight. Whenever a person with this curse reaches 100% shadow, the curse increases in power. Agents created by the maker from this gain plus one intrigue. Ooh. Okay, I like intrigue, so maybe we'll start with that curse. Or can I like curse use all these curses? Well, we'll see, we'll see. Curse a house, all people with the same last name with the maker's curse of the traitor. When a person with this curse is corrupted into an agent, the curse increases in power. Okay, okay, and then we got Twist Flesh. Transfers one stat point to the stat used by the challenge an agent is performing, taking it from a different stat. What? That's like awesome! Because usually I spit, like, I. My agents are usually very specific. So let's take, like, I usually use the courtier a lot. I don't care about his command, I don't care about his lore. If I can just do that, like, what, 
four times to increase his intrigue to eight. Like, that sounds awesome. But yeah, we don't seem to have the dark portal or whatever. Okay, what was what was Shadow? There's a... Uh, something... some... Is there, isn't there a... Loca okay, location Shadow. So do we have the location... I honestly can't remember what it's called where we normally start. Uh, but doesn't look like that place exists. Huh. And this is... Wait, wait, wait. Did I put the game on endless or is this god always endless? I think I'm gonna have to check that at this point. Okay, no, I, I, ha I had... I did not set the game on endless. I did turn the turn limit on. So why is this saying endless? So... That makes me think that we can't lose with this god. Because if we don't have the place where they can seal us, and we don't, we're in endless turns, so how would we even lose? Well, apparently, okay, so this is a, a, a Sim City god then. Uh, just, just for fun, uh, no real challenge of trying to beat anything because we can't lose. Okay, uh, I'm fine with that. It doesn't, it's not, doesn't really matter that much. But what, okay, so we had our curses. What we really want to do with those curses then is Okay, I want to do the Curse of Midnight, right? So, let's find the biggest house in the world. How do we do that? Okay, if we go for, uh, Hero's House. Okay, yeah. Nine rulers, one hero, seven rules. Okay, 14 seems to be the biggest that we have here at this point. Let's go through all of this thing, yeah. Okay, do we have anyone who's bigger than 14? No, okay, so let's start with there. Uh, so, House Solvedon. Somewhere here. Uh, are you... Okay, infiltration, yeah. You are House Solvedon. Okay, so if we now... No, not create agent. Use power. Uh, make us curse midnight. Uh, can only be used once per sleep. Yeah. But... Is it our, haven't we like slept once? Isn't that the point? We just woken and this is our sleep. Uh, can only be used once per sleep. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Do we do we have to target a character with it? Okay. I was thinking that we we could target a city and it would uh, allow us to curse uh, the family that is running the city. Okay, so we're gonna have to find the particular uh, person who was the hero from that house. Uh, so what was the house? Solvedon. So if we go for heroes, and we write here Solvedon. Mediator Abidida Solvedon. We're here. Yeah, we're gonna use power. Uh, makers curse midnight. We're gonna curse her. Right, so if we now look at you, uh, we'll look at your house uh, family here. House Solvedon is cursed with Maker's Curse. Midnight Brokenness Curse. Every member of this house reaches 100% in shadow and increases the curse. Okay, so and then what we're gonna do, because I realized when we look at our agents, we have the Harvester here. So we're gonna get the Harvester. Uh, where can we put him? We need a human soul. Apparently someone has died. Okay, it seems like there's a place. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, we're gonna get the Harvester over here. And we're giving the Howl of Sin. And of course the Harvester is gonna start by harvesting. Now, uh, we have the power of create agent. Select a unit or ruler and turn them into an agent. Okay, let's uh, try to find if we can find Solvedon people. Uh, more Solvedon people. So, get house. Yeah, uh, please uh, give me the Solvedon house. Uh, should I do it like this? If I go for house, just write Solvedon here. Uh, okay, the. Uh, this color is Solvedon. So let's see if we can find a ruler that has a pretty good intrigue from Solvedon. Uh, you get a three. Uh, I, that might be good enough for me at this point. Uh, you get a three. Uh, what about you? You get yourself just a one. A three. Uh, I don't think you were... Yeah, you're not Solvedon. Uh, right over here. Oh, don't... Oh, come on, click on the city. I'm clicking on the city. Thank you. Uh, that's oh, not what I was after. Wait, we're here. Yep, here. Uh, you get a three, two, two, three, one. I think is that is that like the best we've seen? I feel like that was that's probably the best we've seen at this point. Like the total of those things. Uh, no wait, I'm not. Just click on the house, please. 
Oh, two, three, three, two. I think, yeah, this guy might be the best option we had. So, four, three, two, one. And I think, is this the last soldier in? One, two, three, two. Uh, yeah, the guy who had... Yeah, two, three, three, two. So let's try to use uh, this here. So use power, create agent over here. Select, drawing out the bloodline. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. So I really should not have done it that way. Well, damnation. Also, his stats are different than what they were. With. Just, aren't they? Okay, well, at least we got an agent now, who's a very balanced agent, but then the House Solvedon is no longer cursed, is that... Is not cursed. Okay, well, can I curse you with another curse? Uh, let's see, like... Uh, uh, for each level, the curse and trade which costs a little agent created by the maker. Okay, whenever a person with this curse is killed by another, the curse increases in power. Uh, whenever a person with this curse is driven insane... Whenever a person is, is corrupted into an agent. Okay, that's weird, because if we turn them into an agent, they lose the curse. Uh, okay, but I don't know. Let's put the uh, driven insane. Okay, let's put the this curse. Uh, we're gonna see. If, let's try and find the uh, the same person over here. And so, so are you? Is your family now cursed again? It is. Okay, so you want to drive, drive, yeah, we want to drive these people insane then. Okay, okay, okay. So, how are we going to do that? Well, uh... Wait, isn't, didn't I? Are you my agent or not? I don't see you here. Uh... Well, uh, let's see, can I... Chill? So, wait, what? I'm confused. Yeah, I cannot create more agents, but I just used to... You will gain... You will turn them into an agent. Well, it didn't turn them into an agent, just made them be here. Well, okay, let's go for next turn. Maybe it's something that will fix itself in a turn. No. It's just... What? It... Turn them into an agent? It says, right here, it says, turn them into... Okay, so, the blood remembers. Throughout the centuries after all human records have been lost and all the past in the myth, the blood still bears its cause. The broken makers curse lingers, waiting to condemn the descendants as it condemned the ancestors before them. Select the unit or ruler and turn them into an agent, building off at least one maker's curse on their house. We will gain stats and traits based on which curses are present and how powerful they are. Okay. But it didn't give me an agent. I'm... Blessing of Midnight. Reduces profile by zero per turn. But you're... You're... You're not... What? Okay, so what we're actually gonna do here then is we're gonna restart. I'm I ain't gonna be using that for that. Like that's just no 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 no. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's restart. Uh, random world. I probably you know, could have used the same random world, but but also to check the advanced options that we most definitely had a uh, turn timer on. But yeah, okay. So I don't want to use the create agent power. Uh, that's an interesting way of, like, saying that that's the one I should be using, and then telling me that yeah, don't don't use it because it doesn't work. Okay. Uh, so House Ratterer seems to be the biggest one this time. No, House Vera. Right. Okay. That was like over twenty. Yeah, but definitely not seeing anyone over twenty here. Okay. So House Vera. Uh, right, we're gonna have to find the hero of that house, because we can't curse the cities, as we just learned. Uh, okay, so you. Let's use power. We're gonna give you the Curse of Midnight. Right. So, and then we're gonna create an agent. 
Oh, of course, this time we cannot create the Harvester, well, that's annoying. Okay, which one of you has the highest Intrigue? Okay, you two have the high Intrigue. Okay, so I'm gonna take you two, but if I take you two, I can ha use you in the next one. Hmm. Okay, mate. Ooh. Wait. Hierophant's lore is so low? I thought it was a two. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, let's, uh, yeah, let's start with the Hierophant. And, yeah, we'll start over here. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Let's re remember to do things correctly. Okay, let's have a look, see, uh, what kind of prophets we need. North Coast, strong and powerful, master of magic. That's never gonna happen. We're never gonna have anyone who's got might for and a master of magic, so... Uh, North, holy side, powerful, do the foe in combat. Okay, that is a possibility. West Coast, ancient ruins, master of magic. Uh, okay, East Coast, outpost, master of magic. Okay, so... Wait, did all of these have Master of Magic? Okay, not all of them, but four of them had Master of Magic. <sighs> okay, that's gonna take a while to get there. So, uh, that means that none of the... Yeah, the Hierophant isn't gonna be any of these. And also just realized that, yeah, maybe the Witch's Coven... Uh, let's have a look see where the Witch's Coven is. Okay, uh... Cannot see... Okay, it should be yeah, one of the areas that it has a color at this point, and then I just cannot see it. But I think we can find it with the other other things. If we go for here, and isn't there a coven? No, not this one. This one. Temple slash coven. Yeah, okay. Is is that the witch's coven? City of Bitsy, city, city, abbey, city, city. Okay, there's the co coven. Okay, so let's create a higher fan over there. Right, and we're gonna give you some more intrigue. Oh, you get it right, you get an extra, of course. And we're gonna start infiltrating the coven. And then we're gonna create another agent. Uh, yeah, probably the trickster or the courtier. Or should we just try to get ourselves a profit immediately by getting the warlock out? But then again, what are we gonna do with the warlock in the beginning? Mm, nothing much. So yeah, let's uh, let's yeah, let's get one of these. One of these. Uh, let's do it with the trickster, maybe. Trickster, uh, courtier, trickster, courtier. Uh, okay, you know, no, 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 let's take the courtier, and we're gonna have him start, I don't know, in the city of Emptis here. Uh, no, 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 you know what, let's, let's, let's see, who is the chosen one? This person, and your family, okay, you have a queen in your family over here, so yeah, let's, uh, let's create courtier over here. And we're going to give you Noble Connections, as we always do, and we're going to rename you Bob, because uh, that particular word there, I, I, I'm... Uh, I, so, I am so, so easily, I will say Courtier, instead of Courtier, and uh, yeah, I'd rather just call him Bob. Okay, Bob. What are we going to do with you? What was the uh, security here? Seven. Okay, now, who are you related to now? Uh, okay, you're related to... Yeah, you are... Whoa. Spouse? You got two spouses. Wait, what? What? Uh, okay, let's have a look at the queen. Yeah, okay, so Bob is... ...related to these two people. Uh, maybe we should curse one of these houses as well. You know what, let's do that. Uh, Shuahu Shang. Uh, right, oh, the chosen one. Yes, of course, let's curse the chosen one. Uh... We also use the curse of the intrigue thing, right? Uh, I see my maker from this house for uh, what was the thing here? Driven insane, uh, killed by another. You know what? Let's just give them the <laughs> that thing and see how that goes. Okay, Bob. Mm. Ooh, we got deep ones here. You know what? Yeah, let's try and get the deep ones doing something for us. It's probably not gonna work, but uh. Yeah, okay, okay, religious tension happening, that is fine. Oh, right, use power, twist flesh. Bonk, yep, yeah. yep, yeah. lose lore, and lose HP. Very nice, got some intrigue. 
Uh, Merchant of Antiquities. Yeah, we'll buy a trinket. Yeah, I know about those. Uh, that's just the healing potion. Not very useful. Uh, continue regardless. I don't care about you losing some health there. Ooh, you lost four. Okay, maybe I should have cared. But yeah, you're gonna get leveled up in a, like very quickly. So uh, that's gonna be healed as well. Uh, you got nothing, so I didn't, doesn't matter which one of those we choose. Okay, you infiltrate the coven. That's good. Now, uh, I mean, you can just lay low there. Uh, it'll take a turn to get rid of that, so maybe not. Okay, let's have a look see at the security here. So that's seven. Ooh. Seven security is quite a lot. I'm really wondering if we should just use all of our curses like in the beginning. Just to... Uh, just to have them used. Okay, so... So we've already used the Curse of Sword. Let's maybe use the Curse of Sword. You know what? Uh, yeah, let's let's just use all the Curses. We don't really know what they're doing, so let's just see what they do. Uh, let's find other big houses, because I feel like the bigger the house, the better the Curse will be. Uh, so House Radrer. Okay, heroes from Radrer, please. Radrer. Well, yes, so yeah, we're going to use power of... So we use the sword, we used Midnight. Uh, uh, Port Curse Drink Insane. Yeah, let's give you the Curse of the Eye. And then the houses... What other houses do we have? So, uh, Radrer was, what, 16. So let's see if we can find something that is... Okay, there's... 14 in Jalat there. Yeah, that looks to be the biggest next piece. Okay, so let's go for House Jalat. Uh, house, come on. House Jalat. Okay, Heroes Jalat. Okay. Uh, mediator Jalat. Yeah. Use power. Uh, curse. So we use that one, we use that one. Okay, it's then this one. Uh, this is corrupted into an agent. Well, we're probably never gonna do that, but uh, it's fine. Okay. So then we can maybe start working on things. Uh, well, we really just wanna get these locations here infiltrated. Because that's, yeah, we're just gonna give these people here the uh, thing that allows them to create more shadow. And hope that. That will do something for us. Uh, okay, someone's gonna attack or upstart. Who are most inclined to attack our farm is Mage Rodom Kibim there. Uh, they're not gonna be attacking us. So that's fine. Uh, yeah, let's be rich as a baron. We only got so little menace, so I don't really care about uh, getting a little bit more at this point. Yeah, Orc Suppression, that is fine. Okay, you infiltrate it there, so infiltrate the catacombs as well. How long till we get power 17 turns? Okay. Well, we're gonna have seal broken. Uh, that's profile. Yeah, I don't care about profile. We will not comply. Yes, next seal is gonna break quite soon. Oh, you're gonna have to, yeah, lose that progress you got there. Uh, because you only got one HP. Okay, seal breaks. Uh, you get an agent. Slot powers unlock venom in the veins. Disrupt any non-chosen hero with a cursed house. Any curse can be used for five turns. Right? Uh, but no, we're just gonna be twisting your veins more. Okay, kind of makes me feel like now that I looked at that other power that we probably shouldn't have used all of our curses immediately. Uh, so that we could, if there's a situation where we want to disrupt someone, we could just use one of the curses and then disrupt them. But uh, we'll see. Alright, oh, wait, new, new agents. Okay, now I'm going to just, I'm gonna save. I'm just gonna save now. And then we're gonna see if this thing works now. Was there any way for me to see the curses? Uh, curses, cursed and blessed. Right, okay, so... There's someone that is cursed over there. Okay, so he is, this person is cursed and we just saved, so we're going to see. So if I now create, no, not create agent. If I use the power of create agent... Uh, this really should tell me that using this removes the curse from the family. But yeah, so if I use it on you... Uh, 
Okay, well, at least you turned into an actual agent for us. That's good. I probably should have looked at what kind of people we had here, because seriously, those stats, not that interesting to me. But I don't know, maybe we can do something with Command 6. Uh, okay, but yeah, we l lost that curse, and it was it was the particular curse that we're, uh, <laughs> that probably would have been the easiest to deal with. Oh, we got a lot of wards here. Uh, but yeah, since you got so much command, what I think we want to do with you is probably get you just influencing a religion. So let's have a look see at the religions. Uh, actually, I think maybe the best thing is to just, you know, instead of even like, looking at the religions, I'm just going to have you go to the uh, coven and have you turn them into pushing, like, shadow pushers, like, really, really quickly. Okay, you infiltrated the farming community there. That's good. Ooh, and now you get yourself a level. Good. Uh, I think we're gonna make you stealthy. Yeah, stealthy is just, just, just so good. So good. Such a good power. Uh, okay, so what, what, do, what even does your preaching thing do? Cause the rule of the rotation decreases their estimation of ambition and danger. This affects their behavior by getting more prone to taking cowardly actions. This affects their behavior, making them more prone to taking cruel or violent actions. Uh, cause your rule of selection increased their estimation of ambition, decreased their lack of cooperation, affects their behavior by making them more prone to taking ambitious actions, it's invading neighbors to increase their church or rebelling against the sovereign by starting a civil war. Okay, didn't one of our curses have, uh, no, not that. One of our curses was, uh, when people kill other people. It's the curse of the sword. When a person with this curse is killed by another. Okay. Uh, who did we give the curse of the sword to? Uh, curse and bless. Okay, so this doesn't actually tell me that, like I can't. Uh, okay, so. Yellow! What is the yellow curse? Uh, family. Traitor. Okay, that's not the curse we're looking for. What is. Oh, please, please go away. Uh, the pink curse. Uh, I. Right, and... Uh, oh, I think it was the Chosen One. The Chosen One we gave the Curse of the Sword, right? Uh, chosen One, Family, Sword, yeah. Okay, so what we really want to do is we want to get our Hierophant here. And get this person over here to be more, uh... Yeah, more, more, more violent. Uh, what's your HP situation? Six, yeah, just give some of that wait you're female since her in the uh, thing that doesn't 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 look like but you know who cares uh okay you get yourself a level you take stealthy as well and also we have more power so let's just use a twist of flesh on you uh, again all oh, right you actually need to be performing a challenge right that's where you see what you're gonna be getting uh did you get rid of the uh Deep one cult here? No, it's still growing. Uh, what's the security here? Eight! God damn, is that- Oh, it's a capital as well. Oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah, we're most definitely not gonna get- Get that deep one cult going anywhere, but, uh, you know, let's just, uh... Let's just do some things here, and then I think we're gonna- Yeah, we're gonna move Bob up, up, up here as well. Uh, trying to get the shadow moving. Get some shadow moving over there. Then again, uh, I mean, we could, uh... Any one of you got any lore? No, none of you have any lore. Okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Just go. Let's just go infiltrating. Should... Okay, now we can influence the holy circle here. Holy circle. It's not the holy circle. The holy order of the Linum circle. So yeah, let's influence them negatively, and also let's have a look see at their moral terms. Can we even give them? No, we can't even make them. <laughs> we can't even make them spread shadow. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, anybody? Okay, these people have Dark Worship. Order of Hope. Anybody else got Dark Worship? No. Okay, so Order of Hope. Uh... Okay, we're... Right, where are you? Order of Hope. Uh, F6, Order of Hope. Up here. Okay, 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 okay. Well, this is where our... People are moving towards, right? Uh, where are you? Okay, can... Is this Order of Hope? It's got a holy site. Can we do the influence thing there, or does it actually need to have a temple? 
Uh, well, let's have a look-see next turn. Okay, yeah, we, we, it seems like we need a temple, so let's have a look-see. Do we have any? Okay, there's a temple in City of Emptis there. So let's go for City of Emptis and uh, influence that Holy Order. There, uh, you can just gossip. We're stealthy, we don't care about profile at all. Okay, magic things seem to be happening. So yeah, let's just start influencing the Holy Order. Here, it's gonna take a while before we can get them to the point where they're actually doing anything good for us. But that is... Uh, that's just fine. Okay, you infiltrate the fortress over there, so... Yeah, if we're not getting anything happening with the Deep One cult here, which was definitely we're not since the security is so high there at this point. And what about here? Four? Actually, we can maybe get something happening there. Uh, so we could at least try that. Get a city. Yeah, 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 yeah. If we can get a city infiltrated, we can then use the... Oh, wow, your menace is high. Right, because you've done three infiltrations, right. Uh, you should actually probably go and lay low, and since... Seriously, since we are in Endless, I mean, I, 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 can't, I, can't, I don't even understand how we could lose this game. Ah, uh, yeah, word panic, yeah, that's the thing. No really... Care about that. What? Requires 100% infiltration, right! Of course I didn't realize that. Uh, is this place infiltrated? No? Okay, well... Go there and infiltrate that place. You lay low, please. No, not rest. Lay low, please. Yeah, you just infiltrate that spot. Oh, do we have power? Nope. Uh, don't really care. Okay, just repeat that challenge, please. Oh, we should really just go and infiltrate that area, because then we get more points. Right, okay, I'm just... Seriously, I'm... I'm, I'm because I don't know how to use this god, I am being quite confused here about things. Okay, let's twist your flesh. Yeah, you don't need command, just get more intrigue for yourself. Uh, okay, a few more coins for your whispers, please. Oh, okay, more power. You gain an agent slot power, so I'm called this in waiting. Place a modifier in an infiltrated settlement, which will reduce security by one for as long as the settlement remains standing. Interesting. What's the point there? So is that for like the next cycle? Probably. Oh wait, uh... Infiltrate. So the infiltration is to be higher than zero. So... If we infiltrate one of these locations, we can do that and infiltrate another one or something to that effect, I think. Okay, Bob, are you... Yeah, you are perfect. Uh, you need still one use of Twist Flesh to be perfect. Okay, now you are perfect. Uh, Alright, we can get another agent. It feels like we don't really want to use our Create Agent power here before we actually get something happening with our curses. So let's just get ourselves a new agent. Uh, oh, we don't have recruitment points. Right. Uh, well, then we're not going to get ourselves another agent. Because I feel like having those curses there is better, probably. So yeah, that place got infiltrated. What is the situation here? It's security is two. Yeah, so you go... Uh, you should probably go and lay low as well. Hmm. Then again, you're just a higher fan. I don't maybe really care even if you die. If your menace gets so high that people start haunting you, I might not even care. Okay, Linum Circle, yeah, you weren't... Not nearly as useful as I thought you'd be. Okay, so Bob, what we're gonna give you... Is... Prophets of Doom... Maybe? Well, at least Awareness of Elder Powers. So if someone gets aware, they'll maybe deal with that. Yep, you just keep repeating that challenge. Okay. Bob has land low. Uh, let's call the daughter to serve. Uh, probably not gonna get the daughter out at any point. Okay, security two. Uh, what's your situation there? It's gonna take you three turns. Okay, okay, Bob, you go there and infiltrate the farming community. Yeah, because this is gonna be done in a couple turns, and then they shouldn't overflow here. Uh. Yeah, two more turns here. Uh, 
Yeah, sure, let's increase our intrigue for a while. A dreadful habit. Okay, what is this? Queen Colium Kipin tries to once again begin reading a lot of classic of old literature in a desperate attempt to distract herself from the treacherous thoughts. Her coin pouch sits so fat against her thigh that the string won't fully close it while on the other side of the street. While on the other side of the street through a shadowy recessed entrance, a peacefully parlor serves its clientele. The smell is unmistakable to her. She minds herself, she promised herself to cut down on her dreadful habit. She simply cannot afford it. Thankfully, the person she came to meet here finally deigns to arrive. The hero rises to shake her hand and smile. Sir, guests from various business before pleasure attitude will surely dispel these terrible and temptatious thoughts. Okay, business uh, gains 10, challenge progress. Loses all of her gold, gains disrupted for 3 turns. Okay, who are you? Get 130 gold. What are your local actions? What are you doing? You're taxing. Why, why, why do we get such an event? You're like completely unremarkable, you got absolutely nothing going on with you. Okay, I think, uh, so what is the situation here? Yeah, let's just, uh, yeah, let's get more challenge progress here. Also, no, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use Twist Flesh on her, because she's got pretty good might, we might wanna use her for like some mighty things at some point as well. Uh, especially since she can have a lot of minions. Farming community infiltrated there. It's gonna take three turns for Bob to infiltrate that. So, uh, Hierophant, go to the town of Zingru and just uh, lay low over there. Okay, you start laying low there. Okay, now we got a recruitment point. Over time, at a rate of one every 45 turns. Turn 60. Strange. Okay, so, who could we create? Honestly, at this point I think we want to get a Warlock. Uh, for the fact that we're s we're soon getting this city. Like, it's, this city only has two locations. We're gonna get this infiltrated very quickly. Uh, and then we can in Shadow here. So, uh, let's have a look-see at the uh, Prophecy things again. Because, yeah, they all had a Master of Magic, didn't they? Well, this one didn't. So, uh, East Coast... West Coast, uh, North Coast. Okay, so we want them to be from the either North East or West East Coast. I think North. No, not West East. <laughs> Can't be in West East. Uh, North West or North East Coast. Uh, did any of them have a specific, like, holy site? Okay, if we get a north holy site on the coast, uh, that would be good. Holy site. Oh, right, this has this annoying thing where it thinks it's over here when... Oh, holy site. It's not so... Th uh, that's... A northeast or northwest coast holy site. Oh, but uh, the problem problem here being that since we, if we want to create an agent, uh, we want to create the warlock. Yeah, we can't actually get him from there. Well, let's put him there. That should be a north northeast coast, and uh, let's do master of death. Uh, we don't have a death happening right now. I don't think so. But death will allow us to spread shadow quite well once we get uh, once there is some death around. Okay, let's have a look. See now. Uh, yeah, you're a candidate over there, uh, you're not a candidate over there. You're a candidate over here, so you need to explore an ancient ruin. Okay, that's what we're gonna start with, so ancient ruins. Oh, there's an ancient ruin right there. Right here. Okay, uh, warlock man, go and explore those ruins, please, and you will immediately become a prophet. Fox suppression happening, that's fine. Awareness, uh... Yeah, you just keep on repeating that challenge, and what are you doing over there? Oh, wait. Someone became aware. Why? Are you spreading awareness? Seriously? What the world? We're only at World Panic 15. Okay, Bob, uh, more intrigue for you. And right, I should probably also check if they are selling the daggers some way. Yeah, they're selling four daggers. So I should... Someone should probably go and get some daggers. Uh... If I need four daggers, that's gonna cost 140. So I need to find a location that has 140 gold for it. 
Oh, there's 150 over there. Okay, so let's have... Uh, yeah, we're gonna have the higher fan. Uh, let's uh, give him a note. Go rob Kuashi convent. Right, so you'll do that, and Bob, you'll go and start infiltrating places over here. Okay, gold from rulers. Yeah, some people can get some gold. Uh, cultists in waiting. Okay, yeah. Uh, let, yeah, as soon as Bob is done with this, we're gonna put the cultist in waiting here and see if that works like I think it should. A venerable house. The game's manor stands tall upon its perch over the coastal cliffside, towering above the rest of the settlement like a mighty oak amid saplings. A modest reminder by its resident that from this house grew the entirety of the game's convent. However, despite keeping a proud and affable appearance, his lordship has come down with the most dreadful case of ennui. Parties have only exhausted him ever since he exhausted all of his exciting ideas for them. Politics bore him. Baroness Saez Radrer can keep her tin crown all for herself. Seeking new thrills that could lift him from his lethargy, he's begun developing an interest in the occult sciences and weird lore. His evening with Warlock Rance was a breath of fresh air, but what truly electrified him was the esoteric claim that his very own manner rests up something extraordinary. Excavation begins at dawn. Okay, so you explore that. Okay, we didn't get anything from that. So I think I'm just gonna repeat that challenge and see if we're getting something from that, because I, I haven't explored ruins that much in this game, so... Uh, getting to see what those do is kind of interesting. Okay, Order of Truth. So we got a Prophet in the Order of Truth. Uh, Order of Hope would have been the one that I really should have tried worked for. So uh, if we look to your Moral Tenants... Uh, well, you got Music of the Outer Spheres. That was gonna be good at some point. Uh, but what do we need for the Order of Hope uh, for the Prophet? Uh, strong and Powerful and Master of Magic. Okay, so if we just got Warlock Rance's might to be 5, he'd be this thing as well. Okay, do we have... Okay, so the daggers give plus 1. If we give him an extra might and then buy 3 daggers for him... Yeah, that would do it. And maybe we'll do that. Hey, someone gave some money! Oh, you're related to each other. Okay, that's good. Uh, someone is also... Why are you aware? Okay, a dreadful habit this is the same thing. Who are you? Proper Caprit. Okay, uh, view person. Protum... Wait, what did you? Pro room capint. Where is this? Where is the pro room capint person? That's not pro room capint. None of you is pro room capint. Uh, I'm confused. Who is this person? Uh, well, it's just yeah, business. Let's get more progress there. Absolutely no idea who that person uh, was. Okay, yeah, you're gonna repeat that, and we are going to influence these people negatively. Yeah, we must definitely just need to come, come here and uh, infiltrate all of this religious area here. Uh, so it should just... Pr okay, we're getting more money, that's very nice. Okay. okay, okay, there will be no forgiveness for Bob, that's fine. So how much money do you have? 86, okay, do we got any of those daggers available, like, close by to here? No, you're all, like, on this continent over here. But isn't this where we're Bob? Yeah, Bob and... Hierophant are here. Yeah, okay, so we can buy a couple of daggers from here. That's good. Okay, Bob. So, if we look at this location now, yeah, it has security one. So, if we use our power of cultists in waiting... Yeah, we can put that there. And it drops security. And if I understood correctly, that will then... The security will be lower even in the next cycle. Can we uh, stack this? Can't already have a cultist in waiting property. Okay, can't stack it. That's fine. Uh, you just infiltrate the palace there. Uh, and yeah, you... Please give, find me something interesting from here. Okay, line and circle. Yeah, let's influence you negatively again. Wait, why are you... Baroness Lausius and Jadi has accepted spa, following some personal grievance or generally hostile. Okay, we gained 10 minutes. Why? Who are you? Uh... I don't care about this for you. Oh, to save the fools! Always! Oh, the alchemists are oh, such a good event. Okay. 
Uh, Lord of Games assures your agents that money is not concerned in their endeavors. Finding Quill and pulling a handkerchief from his pocket, the man writes a missive for his treasury within the game's convent and then hands over to Warlock Rollins. The sum written in his lordship's florid chicken scratch is considerable and more than covers for the shovels, meals, fair wages, and even some unexpected expenses that might occur during this excavation. Uh, Warlock Rollins pockets a shared in one such unexpected expense. Okay, we gain a little bit of gold. Ooh, local shadow increased by 15%. You know what? Keep keep doing that. Now I'm starting to think that maybe we're gonna get some more shadow from that, and seriously, just getting shadow. Yeah, fifteen percent shadow. That's that's already something. Uh, right. And you have lain low there, and you were supposed to go and rob the convent if they still have. <laughs> They've used their money for something. They had hundred and fifty. Oh, okay. Well, there's hundred and fifty-seven over there. So go there and rob that place. So yeah. Actually, yeah, next turn, and the 156, yeah, rob that place, please, that's gonna take three turns, so let's rob, uh, you have two HP, yeah, okay, let's use power to heal you, I do not want you to die, okay, yeah, keep on doing that, yeah, they did use some of that money, god damn it, okay, and we got Nemesis from that mage there, that's fine. Okay, and you infiltrated the palace. Okay, that's also fine. Oh, you get yourself a level, so get yourself some more intrigue, please. And then uh, we're gonna send you uh, to go buy those daggers. Uh, yeah, okay, from City of Deon over there. And Bob, uh, you just lay low, please. You got a lot of, yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of menace. But hey, I'm looking at how long this recording has been going on for, and I think it's time we put our first cut in here and continue with this in the next episode. Now, since this is the first uh, episode of a series, I would appreciate if you could like click the like button, share with your friends, I don't know, maybe leave a comment or something. And if you're new to the channel, just remember to subscribe so you can get, uh, you know, be updated on this series. I only ever ask in the first episode. But yeah, uh, that's it for now. I'm Uncle Carp. Uh, this has been Shadows of Forbidden Gods with uh, the Broken Maker. Goodbye, world. Thanks for watching. See you next time.